Hey you people, I am 30 and welcome back to Return of Caesar here in Xerde Kings 3. Playing as Gaius Julius Caesar himself. Okay, what someone said in the, um, well, comments is that I should probably give away my high priesthood to my brother. To someone, and someone said give it to my frail brother. And I was thinking, why not? Like, why would I, why wouldn't I do that? I checked in between episodes if I could do this, and I can. So if, well, what I want to give away, I need to give away this one. He needs to have a barony, or no, he needs to hold at least one county. I was thinking about giving him Toulouse, as well as the Duchy of the Imperial Cult, and that's going to land him as High Priest of the Hellenic Fate. And that's going to make us... It makes him High Priest. He's the High Priest. His heir is this guy, my other brother. And I am once again Imperator of the Roman Empire. Which makes me very happy. That's exactly what I wanted. Because I've been just feeling annoyed by being High Priest. I know that Caesar himself was actually Pontifex Maximus, which was the head of fate of the Roman fate. Although it's more political than a religious position. A more secular one than a religious one. But... It wasn't the most powerful position in the Roman Empire, Roman Republic rather, by any stretch of the imag imagination at all. And especially not in the Roman Empire later down the line. So I, I see no reason to keep it. Especially seeing as it did piss me off being called High Priest rather than being called Imperator. Doesn't make a big difference to me. But that doesn't matter, that's exactly what I want to do. Now I want to keep on expanding, and I see that Dalmatia is apparently doing this for for me. To try and take... It's a court chaplain of Dalmatia. And he's actually winning. Why are you so... Hmm. I think that's the strongest court chaplain I've seen in my life. <laughs> he's trying to take the Duchy of Austria. From Bavaria, that's awesome, I love it. That's why we keep on expanding, because the vassals of my vassals are actually allowed to expand, although my own vassals are not allowed to. They are. Which I think is kind of weird, but that's just the way the things are. I don't think it used to be like that, but it's like that right now. I scratched my foot for a second, that's why I didn't say anything. That's a big Lux Luxembourg, it's a very strong one as well. And they do have some strong allies, Flanders and Kujavia. Which is over there. He has a mighty beard and mighty hair, and he's betrothed to a 12-year-old, although he's 53 years old. And he's a bit little rakish. Seducer. You seduce a 12-year-old child. I feel like that's the thing that would make me demonetized if I were if I even were monetized from the first second, which I'm not, so. Man, this game sometimes is... It is weird. It really is. Okay, this is a bit annoying when they have like two different duchies and they have only two counties. Someone asked me if like, why can't I just ask people to, well... To become my vassals by like vassalizing them. And the, the problem is that... I'm going to die. The other problem is that... If you ever have the option to vassalize someone, it's going to show up in here. And seeing as I don't have that option right now, it means that I'm not able to vassalize anyone. As the game is right now. I'm gonna play at speed 4 of course, I'm just gonna get enough troops that I can kill these guys. Which I did get. And now I'm gonna go and kill them and siege them down. Of course with the best commander I can find. That was easy. Thank you. And I still only have 10 holdings, which is below what I actually could hold, so I guess I need to keep this for now. I'm getting some tax from it, so that's something. I did lose my Chancellor. And you are not particularly good, Armenian dude. He's not. Interesting. Okay. I feel like there's a distinct lack of good coaches in my realm right now. And I feel like there's a distinct lack of Roman counties. There's one up here in like modern day Serbia for some reason. 
but otherwise it's I feel like like it's lacking it's like it's here I think I may might have done that I know I did this for a fact so it's kind of interesting it's mainly Greek and some well Arabic things as well here Romanism is spreading kind of okay but it's because of me I had done this myself we do have still have this sizzle thin thing going on I'm trying to make his capital Roman which is something I'm gonna try and befriend you my man it might not happen my brother I think he's my brother he's actually my son I'm not able to befriend my son for some reason why didn't I have like four to five percent chance what happened he's stubborn he doesn't like that I'm callous twice and he doesn't like the fact that I am ambitious I don't think that's gonna work out it might be worth trying though I'm gonna try see what happens there's a lot of independent dudes here, which means I could potentially try and kill everyone. Which is, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Although I'm going to be a bit more careful this time to not get killed by his, that person's army. It's not particularly strong, but it's taken me a while to raise these dudes, as we very well can see here. Because I already have guys raised. Is that a peasant one? It's only a peasant one. Good. So this guy is actually allied to an Amir guy. Yeah. He's a calling. I feel like there's a lot of callings just messing around, having these small county things. There's a calling. There's not a calling. This is a calling though. This is not a calling. I think this this is a calling. This is a calling. This is not. There might be some some other ones. Not Bohemia, of course. Yeah, the callings just stick around for a while. Oh. Well. Oh, so these are the people that I'm fighting against. I see. So they have kind of become independent from the Umayyads. Umayyads. I do need to kill the Umayyads once more so we can keep on expanding in that direction. I do want Iberia back. But I do want... Ga Gaul back as well. How about no? Talking about it. I think I can replace one of these ones. Thank you for your contribution. They don't particularly like this. There's a lot of people that doesn't like this, but why should I care? She's my rival, and what's more more funny than forcing your rival to basically be part of your harem? <laughs> Which is just... <laughs> uh, this game sometimes. Man. Welcome to the feast. Yes, welcome. We are losing this other war thing, this one. I don't particularly care about that one. I don't even know what happens if I lose. Oh, they had a garrison. And I don't have any siege equipment. Ooh. What did you call my sister? Leave my sister alone. It's still the peasant one, that's fine. My nephew got slain, uh, slayed in battle. This is a messenger from Zeus. He lost respect of me though. Oh. It's an Abbasid nephew of mine. Yeah, this one should work. Hold nothing back, my dear. Please help me out. I can always rely on you. Um, this is not going to happen, though. That is a very low chance. It's never, ever going to happen. As far as I know. Why did that only give me 40%? How can that one be worth more? So we did discover some... It's gonna take four months as well. Right. Uh, we discovered something. It's not this one. It was something else. I think that the game went for by itself. I actually have absolutely no idea what I just discovered. I think it was like some swear thing. Where can that one be? 
Uh, we we gained this one. I didn't actually have this one yet. Huh. <laughs> Oops. I think I disregarded that one whenever I went into the... Well, the high medieval ones. Or the late medieval ones. Which one is it? This is high medieval. That's late medieval. Right. They will pray to the gods. Yes, they will. Our gods. Not their own gods. Our gods. Yeah, we lost that one. Nothing happens to me. It doesn't matter. I did lose one... Well, siege. Which is not particularly fun. But we did win that one, and that's us winning the entire war thing. Thank you for your contribution. It makes me very happy indeed. Gotta grant this too. Preferably not my own dynasty. Normal. Gotta give him two things. Because I don't want to get a penalty from giving those things away. That's the reason why. I'm going on a hunt. I'm still not able to actually found any universities. Our development is apparently not that high anywhere, which I find peculiar, to be fair, because we are actually in 1144. We have been playing for 277 years, and I'm still not able to have high enough development to actually found university, which is peculiar. Yes, it is. I'm 46 years old. I'm feeling okay. I'm getting towards healthy and whole of body though, and then we're going for theologian. Whenever I get older, I might go for this one as well. I am not entirely sure though. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, Neustria managed to lose island, or most of it. What happened to Brittany is up there and England as well. In oh, because the old woman is dead. She became 87 years old. And then she died. Poor old hag. Felling a beast. I am going for this one. Pardon me for jawing. See what we want to go for. That's the question. We could go for this person. We could go for this person as well. There's a lot of small people. And I would love to be able to actually vassalize these guys right now. But I am not able to. I'm not even close, as we can see. Oh, um, not even this would make him accept this, so I see no reason to. He's a calling as well, we want to destroy the callings because they're saying that they are like the descendants of the Romans, you know, Charlemagne, those kind of things. If you have heard that story, I guess you maybe haven't heard that story, but if you have, you know why. Charlemagne got crowned as the Western Roman Emperor. And we, of course, know that to be ludicrous because we are Romans. No one else. By the way, talk about Romans. How is my son doing when it comes to children? Not happening because she's only 14. I was sounding a bit like that old dude that I was talking about before. Mm. Oh, Dizzy. Thank you. I guess I have to keep this for now. That opinion wasn't great. It's gonna make some people wanna go for peasant uprisings, I think. I'm gonna go for the next one. What I could do, this would cost me prestige, but I have a, a huge amount of prestige. I don't gonna care. But what could I have done is I could have gone for the Jor War and I wouldn't have to give this away because it would just get beneath whenever whatever person owns this like duchy. Quintus had another son, which he also wanted to name Quintus. Very original man. And that is from the person who names every male that I want to play as the same name. It's still very original. Go away. Oh, this is actually bad. I didn't think about this. Oh, right. How long will it take them to siege me down? I don't want to know. Seven months. Even though it doesn't have a garrison, it's going to take them seven months. Try to siege down Tivoli. Interesting. Oh, we did actually gain this guy. Would you like to be my religion mate? That's the leader. I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna kill him. 
smash him, destroy him, send him to Hades. I think that's like how you could talk about it. And this should be enough. For some reason, peasants really are, are really, really bad when it comes to taking down cities or castles. They suck at it. They're so bad. And I find that peculiar. They're trying to siege tank Constantinople and they're actually not failing that much. I want to see where the, wherever the leader goes. He is not the... that's where he is. And they're actually being kind of successful sieging this place down. So I do need to stop them. And seeing as I am very close to one of my own holdings, or I'm actually standing in one of my own holdings, raising my troops actually goes very quickly. And apparently he moved. He teleported over in this direction and went for Roma instead. Which also will take him seven months to siege down. Which is good. I like it. But he's not able to instantly siege me down. Because that would be terrible. Please capture him. Finally! Is he any good? He is okay. He's maimed though. So I think I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna prolong his torture. Who wants to be maimed, you know? I think it's... Better for that guy to be, well, dead. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so I could become an ally with the high priest. I don't see why I would like to. So he is frail, but he's actually feeling kind of good at the same time. And he has finally gotten a little son who is also delicate. I'm not going to be your ally, though. Or I, maybe I should be, because otherwise some people would like to kill you. Where do you arrange... Um... Oh. Right. I do want an alliance. Negotiate alliance. So no one goes and kill you. Like an, one of his neighbors. Although I don't see why anyone would like to attack the high priest, but it still could happen. Who knows? It's always a possibility. Oh, those people were never independent. They were just part of the Umayyad Emirate. I think that's part of the reason why I could see them, because we were fighting against them. You did win against Bavaria. That's good. He's keeping on increasing the size of the borders in this direction. I do like it. Yes, I do. West Francia. What can I do against you? Not take kingdom. Although I would really like to. Yes, I would. He is actually really, really weak. That's really, really weak as well. Champagne seems like a good one. Orleans, Berry, Valois, Poita, Neustria. I'm gonna go for Champagne, because I do like Champagne myself. And I do want to be able to buy me some good champagne from the place where it all comes from. It does make me... Okay, this is gonna go really, really badly as we can see already. Yeah, it, it's gonna go really badly. Where is the other place where I can raise my groups instead? I should probably have seen that one coming. At least I didn't raise anyone who is, well, who is a man at arms or something like that. That, that's a good thing. What did he call my daughter? Probably something really bad. I think I only raised my men at arms step by mistake. No, I think I raised local forces or something. Which is actually a big mistake on my side. And they're actually seating me down very quickly right now. Which I would like to go and stop. Possible, so I'm gonna just go and kill this dude. If I could catch him. Huh? You being serious? Come on. Healthy, it's gonna keep me alive for a long time so I can see this guy go and die. Oh, he actually has an impressive amount of men at arms. You know? We still smashed him. It's not, not anything like that, but still. Stone of glass, I wanna pay for it. I'm not gonna give you the benefit of 
having a hook on me. Preferably. She's not important. He is not important. He's really good though, but he's not important. He's not. Carinus could marry my son. Who should he marry then? Are there anyone of my own family which you could marry potentially? Because I feel like there's a lot of Julii people out there who are currently not married. I might be wrong though. I feel like it's probably more men than female people. As we can see, that's actually the case. So I'm gonna go for it's the best one I could find. Go for that one. He's a giant. I like giants. I remember when we used to be a giant back in the day. We had the Caesar who was actually a giant himself. But that went away from the family. It stopped being the case. Which is sad. I liked it. Okay, that didn't didn't really give me that much. Why is oh, because they own this bag. Of course. I'm stupid. Yes, I am. I'm gonna go and kill these people again, and then I'm gonna siege them. His capital. Mesalina. A nice little child. Oh, we actually managed to catch him. Hopefully we will manage to catch him as well. We didn't. So he's gonna go and siege down his capital instead. And hopefully we can win that way instead. Hopefully he's captured his son or something. That would be very beneficial. Robus, you beautiful boy. Someone's trying to kill my sister. I don't really know why. I would prefer if they stopped. I do care about my family. Oh, finally, my son can marry his finally 16 year old bride. He's about twice her age. There's nothing wrong with that at all. <clears throat> nothing wrong. Absolutely nothing wrong. <clears throat> right, who should I ransom next? This one, and this one, and this count guy, and this one. What about everyone? I should ransom everyone. I need to keep in mind, I have to remember now that my son might get a son himself, and I need to be able to give that child the right name. It's important that I remember to do so. And get this furnace back if you want to. While I'm carpet seating down the French in like seconds because we have this terrible bug. Which really does annoy me. It makes my life very easy, but it makes my life very boring at the same time. Because these sieges go <laughs> are too quick. That's like this is insane. It's like the blitz it's like blitzkrieg or something like that. It's like I have a tank and with mowing them down with the tank and I spoiler alert there weren't any tanks back in the medieval era I think you know that already by yourself but still it's worth mentioning see that's capital Reims or Rems I don't really actually know how to pronounce that because I'm not French so pardon usually I say pardon my French pardon my really bad French my atrocious French He's not my... No, he's not. He is not. Pardon me. Herc... Herculean. I'm gonna give this away as well to the Russus. And I'm gonna give away the Duchy to Tacitus. The Duchy of Champagne. I'm gonna give should I should I should I not I'm not going to <laughs> I'm not going to that would be terrible up to countess she can be free if she pays for it I could work out I think I need to so I'm going to how are fe people feeling about me being a nasty emperor which is sitting everyone down is expanding the borders of the empire which I feel like everyone should be happy about this. I'm not emptying the coffers. No one is feeling this back home. And not really that many of our own troops are dying anyway. 
It's like, why, why is everyone so pissed off about me fighting? I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. I really would like this to happen. Oh, it's a claim war. I would like it to be an independence one. The only good thing with that is we would actually remove the troops. So that could be a good thing. Right. You are independent. Yes, you are. As are you. You Sunni. Huh. That's interesting. That's actually very interesting. This should be okay. Yeah, that should absolutely be okay. Go and kill those people in... What's that place called? Quer Quercy. Quercy, yeah. I think that's how we pronounce... I, I, I don't think that's how we pronounce it. I think that's like how it's spelled at least. It's a big difference. It's the only big difference between how you spell something and how you pronounce it, especially in French. I feel like. I gotta give this and this one to the same person. Here you go, have two counties. I don't want this one. Thank you. I really want this Umuyad thing to be done with so I can attack them again. And then I want to keep on conquering in that general direction. We're actually getting closer and closer to everything that we need. Things are actually starting to move kind of quickly. I do want to keep on expanding though for as long as possible. So we have to wait and see. In my Holy Rome restoration one, spoiler, we actually went down the entire way to India. So that should be fun if we actually redid that. Or I would like to see down the entire to Abyssinia, who knows? The sky is the limit as they say about to what we are going to achieve in this campaign. Neustria calling person. That's not entirely what I want. I want... I want something that's connected to my own place. I'm not gonna attack you yet. Brie Frankais. Voloi. Give me this place. Where is Paris? That's Paris. Isle de France. I would like that, but I would like that as well. But obviously we cannot take that right now. He is currently preoccupied doing something else. I might be able to raise my troops in peace for once. So we can actually use them to kill my opponent. I would like that, if possible. Yes, I would. Child of my dynasty. That's my son and friend. And that's a daughter. That's good. I'm gonna siege this one down. And we have finally gotten whole of bodies. I should be feeling kind of good right now. I am a very fit old man. I'm not that old, but in these days I'm, I'm kind of old. I'm a fit one. I like to work out. As I do in real life. What a coincidence. And forced demands. Thank you. I'm gonna keep this one out because I am not able to give it away without being stressed out. Oh, thank you. Hopefully he can actually become Roman. Is that new? I'm actually not sure if that's new or, or not. It might be, it might not be. Bulgarian dude, do you live in some place which is Roman? Yes, you are. You do, and you are Roman yourself. Anatolia, he's Greek. So what I might do is make this place Roman as well because i think that's a good thing to do yes i do think so i think this was another calling person no it's actually not calling sorry i'm gonna kill you anyway it doesn't matter you're french that's enough for me <laughs> hopefully there's no one that's french that's actually watching this and getting insulted by me saying so oh yeah, they did just hire a holy order. A very big one. The Knights Templar. Makes sense. If I went here and tried to kill you, would I actually win this? According to the game, I would. According to myself, I am not sure. Who are you? And apparently I'm gonna help you with the present uprising. 
It's not like I want to, but I guess I don't have a choice. That's my daughter. And she gave birth to a son. Happy times. Petronius. And the snake. Oh, that's was I think that was for like my daughter or something. And this one is done. I lost in lions. Interesting. There's a lot of things happening at like at once right now. I feel like I can't keep up. Man. Okay, I'm gonna give this one away. I'm gonna give this one away at the same time to Flavianus. Here you go. Be happy. My core physician got a bit better as well, so that's really good as well. Is Baron Nissa. And that's a calling. He's a calling. Can I do anything nasty to you? Oh, that she's the calling. Can I do anything nasty to you? Can I do this? He's a hostile fate. I don't I don't like the callings. Burn at the stake. Go away. <laughs> that's that's just nasty. It was fun though. I'm gonna take a break, you guys though. So if you have enjoyed this, make sure to like this video. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. So you do not miss out on any future uploads in this campaign. Also leave a comment down below if there's something that you want to talk about. I do appreciate every single comment that you do write. So thanks for watching guys. See you soon. Take care.